sit, sit down and, and then we'll do it. But oh, yeah, so that's actually misery intro. It's not sacrilege, so there's no copyright problems or let's, anything. Let's that talk about this for a minute. Even. <laughs> okay. Let's let's switch off gear from uh, All right. metal mite junk, buzzer junk antiques is what we're going with now. Talk instead about of metal the intro music, huh? No. Okay. Not even misery. Let's talk about sacrilege. This is a a, a, a metal punk band out of uh, England, I believe, or, or Britain, somewhere over yeah. there. I don't know uh, school, too much about you. or something like that. Yeah, and I had the EP when it came out. It's got a punk edge. There's a female singer. It's just awesome. What's the name of the second album, the full album that came out? That there was Beyond the Realms of Madness, and then there That's was classic Turn to epic. Epic. No, it was I don't know. It's it's almost uh, the, the second, second one wasn't as good. The one where she tried to change her voice. I don't more see. Metal. I disagree. The second I, I one like it, but is just as is good as the first. Yeah. The first is the heaviest. But my opinion is that both okay. of, both of the albums are classics, and uh, female singer doesn't even affect it. It's not even about what gender she is. The stuff is just brutal. I mean. And that's yep. a band that I, I is I know they're underground huge and people know all about them, but there's still a lot of metalheads, young guys coming up, young kids. Look this band up, Sacrilege. Uh, what's the first album? Beyond the Realms, and it should just that's of course really through YouTube yeah. nowadays. You can just link to everything. And, and like I was find talking it. about, the intro to those two videos that that we just posted were actually Misery in the studio doing a cover of it. So it's just I mean that, it's just the opening. That's how we got on the subject. Yeah. Is the last uh, yeah. buzzer junk video has music behind it, and it's Todd's band Misery playing a Sacrilege cover, and that's how all of a sudden we just delved into that about Sacrilege. Yeah, but I always want to no do a metal No copyright problems song. of its Misery songs and music no, in the background. So yeah, it's Misery, and I don't Sacrilege probably wouldn't care anyway. Great band <laughs> though. If, if you're a metalhead, okay. find them, and if you're punk, you, uh, don't turn your nose up at it. You, I guarantee you'll like it. Right? Yep, of course. All a right. Lot of, a lot of punk rockers want to turn their nose up at heavy metal, which is the wrong thing to do because I'll tell you what, if you're a metalhead, you never turn your nose up at punk rock stuff because there's tons of good stuff like Discharge and you can go yeah, on and on. It should go vice versa. It always has for me. Yeah, but That's there's what always been an attitude, from others, but yep. don't let it get to you. If you like it, Remember, we got to cut, cut the swearing because we had a really Leave good shoot in. one time. There was two words, and I don't know how to beep on the on the uh, editing program. It's true. This is so not just, for children. <laughs> there is lots of cursing, and uh, I definitely but I, I try keep, to curb I, it. I've been keeping it out of there, though. All right, so I'm over here at 7.30. We should, at we should have a deal that whoever curses has to pay a dollar yeah. to the other person. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> well, while the, while the camera's rolling, okay. Yeah. It's All right, let's switch gears here. It's 7:30 in the morning. Well, it's actually, I left at 7:30. Now it's probably about 8:15. It's like 37 degrees. It's November. It's sunny though. Yeah. And then what are we gonna go out? I know where there's two garage sales that I All found right. on Craigslist, so we're gonna go win it, even though they're probably. Gonna... <laughs> I just lost. <laughs> where, where's my dollar? Yeah. Wait, 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 where's my do oh, where is it? Okay, let's let's start. Let's. Let's do this again. We'll just be passing this back and forth too. Remember, this this deal goes while it's rolling, right? Now I'm focused though. Okay. All right, let's let's start this one over. <laughs> that should have been a practice run, but. Well, I'm sitting here holding the dollar just for no Wait reason. Wait to give the it back. One. Okay. I'm gonna get yeah. it back. I'm gonna just remain calm and not mention it again. <laughs> well, we got a lot of slip. dollars. We're here. gonna get out to some garage sales, do some picking, see what we can find. Maybe I can spend some money, but I want to buy something. <laughs> that actually, you know, has some value to it, and really, uh, we're gonna see if we can dig something up. Anyway, let's get, right, let's let's get go. hunting. Where's my dollar? Dollar. Yep. So here we are, getting in the old machine. I see you didn't clean my chair off for me. Need some gas. Oh yeah. Machine. Need a seatbelt. Where Need is it? Seat. There it is. The van is loaded, but we got new tires. And I got that uh, rear strut, whatever the hell, fixed. Everything's working good. A little cold, that's for sure. You can hear the engine sputtering. Oh, yeah, we'll probably get stuck out in uh, St. Paul somewhere I, in this thing. I got all the money into the van. All right. So we are out and rolling. The last time I uh, made a video, I had mentioned that I was going to do an estate sale. I did that sale. Made quite a good uh, bit of money on it. I got 30% to have the estate sale. Usually, uh, you know, I buy everything outright or pay nothing for it by binding it. But this guy had such great stuff, he didn't want to give it away. And I ended up bargaining down to 30% to sell it for him. And looking back on it, it was worth it on this job, but I would never do it for so low again. I would advise no one to do anything less than 60%. The time and energy that you put into it and labor, you can't do it for under under 60%. If you're going to do it less than that, it's better than the How about 50? 
50-50. Now it really comes down to negotiating. Nope. nope. You can't. Okay. It's too much work. It's hard to sell for stuff on eBay, set up an estate sale, price it. Now, of course, you'll say, well, the going rate for people that have estate sales is 20 to 30 percent. Well, I don't care. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to work my ass off for myself, uh, for somebody else for less than 60 percent. And I'll tell you what, though, you pay me that 60 percent, you're going to get the best value anywhere because I'm going to do the job right. And that's what it's about. And honesty. All right. I'll be right back. Cash me. Something. Okay, what we are right now is uh, I, we had found a sale on Craigslist. Basically, it's an estate sale once we got here to find out. And we're waiting in line. Usually at an estate sale, there's numbers that they give out. So you have to get there quite a bit early. It's like 9.05, maybe 9 o'clock right now. So we got a 30-minute yep. wait. But I talked to the people inside. There are no numbers today. So I asked if we stood here, are we first in line? They said yes. So this is a great opportunity. I usually don't go to estate sales due to the fact of the number system. But there is none at this sale, and we are first. So we're going to go ahead and shoot for it. So let's talk so about we just this found now. Out. Yeah. Now there's, no li there's obviously no line. Now we just seen a guy going in. So it seems like this is probably the second day of the sale. And Yeah, because he mentioned he... Uh, bought something yesterday and left it, so we're going to talk to him yes. when he comes out here. So this is the second day of the sale. Second day, yeah. Oh, oh, so 25 percent <laughs> off. All right, good <laughs> stuff is gone. We know how it goes. Oh, I know. Thank you. Can't win them all, but you don't get any reward if you don't take the risks. So we were That's at on. that estate sale. We were yep. bragging about how there were no tickets. Oh yeah. Standing in line and how. It made it worth it worthwhile to uh, wait there due to the fact that there was no number system and that we were going to be first in line, only to find out a guy running up and saying, oh, I forgot something that I bought yesterday, which we were able to quickly figure out is it was the second day of the sale, and oh, hell yeah, we were out of there <laughs> so fast. Oh, yeah, running. If you've ever seen the old Munster show back in the 1950s, the Munster, no, 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 no. when they would tear out, someone would run out of the house and you hear the tires squealing as they smoked out of there. That's the sound effect that we need right now because <laughs> we were out of there. We ran to the vehicle. Oh, yeah. I, I think I, I did videotape us running, so yes. And we didn't even waste time, but we found out, luckily, luckily but, yeah. we didn't wait the full 30 minutes, 35 minutes. No risk, no risk. That's, that's the risk. Close. Nothing going on. And we could have stuck around for 25% off, but it's probably like a modern tea kettle or something. It's and, still and, sitting there. I don't and, know. And another thing that I touched on before is with estate sales nowadays, of course, estate sales used to kind of go Thursday, Friday, Thursday being the earliest. Nowadays, they're starting literally on Wednesdays, almost always, as seen here. Today is Thursday. And even I've seen them on Mondays and Tuesdays at this point. So you never know. They're just not stop the way they're running it. There used to just be, oh, it's Saturday, and then it was kind of Friday, it was cool, and now it's any day of the week. Anyway, we lost out on that one, so now guess what I'm doing? I'm freestyling, fingers crossed, it's late in the year. <laughs> to find a garage sale today is, uh makes me sick. But we'll see. Like I say, we won't get find it shot. if we're sitting in the basement no. listening to Kiss. You gotta so, yeah. get out. And sometimes, like I said, I've done this, and then I all of a sudden I stumble across a dumpster full of treasure. You just never know. And that's why it's good to just get out in the world, throw your foot out that door every day. You gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Time is short. Life is short. Boom. It's over. If you can move, you better groove. <laughs> <laughs> What's this out here? Probably just somebody's old. I uh, see a table, a but yeah. Just kind of do a quick gaze as we drive by. Kind of look at the top of it. Looks like some old doors. Yeah, old doors, construction, wood, which sometimes I grab because I'm always yeah. building something. Sometimes those doors are worth something if they're in good shape. Oh, so yeah. Sell them like on Craigslist. I moved them out at 100 bucks. You get a nice old oak door with some ornate carving on it. And even, you can even sidestep that. You say, oh, I don't have a, a truck. I don't have that. Drive around, look for old doors. <laughs> Simply just pull the doorknobs off of them. Old glass uh, doorknobs, old steel ones with ornate uh, hardware around them, as well as uh, porcelain. That's a glass-covered doorknob. Even if there's a chip, people buy these, and they sell anywhere between 10 and almost $65 for the basic ones. The more ornate, 
the more old, the better, more money always. But that's something that you could oh, do with word. a little car. Oh. You could do that with a bicycle. You could strictly go out and look for doors, old doors. People toss them constantly. Hardware brings decent money. Do the legwork. Get out there. People even give away doors for free all the time on Craigslist. All of, uh, anyone could do it from the lowest level, a guy with just a bicycle. All you need is a screwdriver or a Phillips. Take all the hardware if you've got a whole piece with the lock, with the old skeleton key. That stuff usually just comes right out. Little hammer, little screwdriver. I've done it. Also, uh, old stoves. Like, you see an old stove, you're like, I can't haul that freaking thing. Grab all the hardware. Grab the burners. Grab the... Uh, um, the emblems that are on it. Grab all the little pieces, the clocks. Take all that stuff out. You can sell that stuff on eBay. I've done it. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. That's how you can build your money and build your inventory by doing things like that. That's all out there. Trust me. You can find that stuff all day long. But you got to work for it. You just got to get out. Either walk, ride a bike. You got a car, take it. You got a truck, take it. But get Even out there. Even if you're on your way to work. I yeah. found myself doing this too. Oh yeah. As I'll just be kind of scanning, and if I see something, Pull of course, over. yeah. I mean, see, you, don't, you don't even hesitate. have to be out picking. You can just be driving to the grocery store. What just you keep have an to eye have out. is no shame. You can't be embarrassed because it's not glamorous to have your legs. And I've been there a million times, literally hanging out of the dumpster like this. Uh, I've been there a million times. Yeah, you got to be balls out on that. You can't be wor be worried about what people think. It doesn't matter. You're putting food on the table. What else? You're just going to let it go to nothing? You're not doing anything wrong. Get over yourself. Get out there and find the stuff. You'll find a German helmet someday just by uh, getting in there with your feet dangling out. I'm telling you. Been there. Done it. It's feasible. It's all out there. And don't let the naysayers talk you out of it, too. You, maybe you get excited and you're like, oh, I love what I do. I'm doing this. You'll always run into people that are like, oh, there's nothing left. Blah, blah, blah. I hear it all the time. That's all crap. Minnesota, especially if you live here, there's basements and attics and garages filled everywhere. It's everywhere. All right. It's all out there. What you seeing at this sale, Mike? Well, it's a little rough. There's not much here that looks old. You're still looking around. You could tell this was the kids' room, yeah? It was a telescope. I don't know if you're and into that. We do have a freezer and a washer and dryer downstairs. Is that what this is just, just keeps leading to? Um, no, actually there's stairs down to go down the other way. All right. All right, we're we are getting down here now. Oh, got some old trophies, but not old enough, 1990s. No. Now we're here we are having a snack. Actually in the alley, he's looking for a dumpster. I've actually seen one. I don't know where that was. Though. I saw one with a lot of construction in it. There it is. There it Drive is. up alongside of it. All slow. Chewing our meat sticks. That right thing is where it's at. It's right next to a, uh, an apartment building. Never a good sign. Probably some stuff somebody left behind when they moved out in a haste. And they had to clear it out. A bunch of trash. Yeah, for sure. There she be. Marty ain't no ho holla back, girl. All right. Look at you. Oh, bang. Huh? You got to get in here? Well, you going to leave right now? Well, I'll get out of the way right now. No, no, I don't got to get I just parked like that so I can do a quick in and out. If you want to take a look, I'm not selling it here. Stink, no, but I do. I got a full load, and, and you can poke through it, and I'll sell you something. Very okay. reasonable. Okay. So I'll be right out. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. See what, see what Marty's got going on. All right, and we are. We are in. We are in, and I am rolling, rolling, rolling. Basically, if you come over here, because you got to come over here. You just uh, never know what somebody that, brought in for a dollar that they picked up somewhere just so they can get a couple smokes somewhere. Is 
See, these are nice. These are nice pieces, but I'll be passing on them. This is a good one here, though. This babysitter one. Maybe. Do have some gold for 50 cents. I think Amy likes them. Gotta have a look out in the street to see what he's got yeah, sitting up. Nice old uh, barometer there. Use other door knock. <laughs> Not even there to lift to answer it. Back in the day, that'd definitely be something that I would pick up. But I've got about a hundred of those right now. <laughs> An old register. Looking around? Yeah. How's it going? You again. Of course. <laughs> Mouse up there? Oh, I've seen these. Kind of crude, but interesting. Looks like they made us lunch. They knew we were coming. Primitive. Primitive. Got to do is buy these three TVs. <laughs> You always do that, just just walk through, right. and then you then you'll see him again in a week and a half, right? Oh, <laughs> maybe a month. No, it's hard to see. Stuff in I'm here. loaded up. You get. What do you got on those things there? Oh, these old thongs. Those thongs and your hammer, or whatever. They need the hammer. How about five bucks for the pair? Sounds good to me. That's nice. That's a start. I'll throw them on the truck and okay. we, you just keep track. Yeah, I will. And I could just, I'm going to kind of dig through a little bit so you can, uh, if you spot something. This ammo case and one, two, three more crates. Okay. So that's 10 bucks that we'd be so at. 45. 45. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, here. I'm going to try and pack it up. Okay. I just carry this over there for. Oh, go ahead. I want to keep some room on the back end. Okay, you got it. I'm just grabbing these crates while we talk. I want to give you a ten. Is that okay? A ten yep. and a five. Yep. Tens and a five. Let me uh, give you. And a I could cup. easily fill you up, and we could even it off at fifty if you want to go there. You know I'm going to treat you right. Oh, well, we could. I, I got some stuff in here that's cool. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're at 45 bucks. Look at this book here. This is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. 1962. You know, it's just yeah. full of advertising locally. I'll give you that and this. Okay. And uh, let's make it just right for you, make it perfect. They just give me them already? Yeah, I'm throwing this one in. I should have been more specific, but yeah, yeah all those are going to be yours. There's another little brass thing right there behind it. It's a little chest. You're going to love it when I get it out. Okay, well. And we, we've just five bucks. So you get this, this, and that other little brass piece underneath okay. these crates. Plus those crates are all yours. And we're at an even 50. Okay. All right. I got to figure out a way to. I'll help you. I'll come over there once we get all of it over there. We should probably put a cap on today then. Yeah. Since not a whole lot happened, but yeah. uh, we, hit, uh, we two, tried. Two different areas you know. of garage sales, estate sales. We went uh, as far west as Columbia Heights, and then uh, over here to uh, St. Paul, 
point. It's a one estate sale, nothing. Still worth got, got down in the basement, poked around a little bit. We went to a, an estate sale that was a complete flop in Columbia Heights. It was the second day of the sale. Yeah, it was all picked through. Yeah, so at this point, you know, we we're tried. just uh, licking our wounds. We're heading back to the house. I'm actually meeting someone from uh, Craigslist at the property. He's going to buy something from me, an old lantern that I paid $10 for at a garage sale. He's coming by there at 12 noon, and he's going to buy it for uh, $75. So it's a $65 profit. It's and a day's work. And I get my initial 10 back, so that's kind of nice, too, to see that again. Stopped at the record store. Picked up some Black Sabbath and some old Alcatraz. They got it. Love it. That Mob Rules. Super clean copy of that. I love that album. If you don't have it and you're a metal fan, good lord, we're all by it. Don't be a fool. Mob Rules. Where's the hair at? <laughs> Got sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> like mine. No, not that low. I'm going to grow back now.